Hey everybody, how's it going? Burt Brian here, and today I've got a very special sauce review. Uh, this particular one comes all the way from the UK. My good friend Eli Smith over there uh, sent me this sauce, and let me just tell you a little bit about his background. His, his father, um, Steve Smith, uh, he was the creator of this sauce, um, and originally he came from Trinidad. Uh, so. Uh, his family has grown up for the last 40 years with all of these, uh, uh, with basically hot sauce condiments being a staple on their table. It's something that they, um, you know, always have. His father apparently is known to uh, carry around a bottle of this sauce. It's something that he has to have with all of his meals. So I'm really looking forward to trying this flavor. Um, both Eli and, uh, has been helping his father create this business. And uh, this is the first sauce of their line. Uh, this one, uh, of course, their sauce is um, Fire Dragon Foods. I'll leave a link down in the description, uh, as always. Uh, this sauce is, the, is called Kiss the Dragon. It's their hot, hot Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce. Uh, very simple label design. Um, I love it. It's very cool. I love how it's got this little seal here that goes over the label and written or on the uh, top and then written on it gives you your best by um, best before date which is 6414 and it's got the uh, batch number of uh, 113 um, so again it's based on a Trinidadian family recipe and made in Wales uh, it adds fire and depth of flavor when added to soups pasta dishes marinades or as an extra kick to your meal we truly hope you enjoy the sauce um, the ingredients are malt vinegar, scotch bonnet chilies, onion, ginger, garlic, mustard, and salt. So again, there's no preservatives, no additives, no fillers, fluffers, nothing like that in it. Um, it's just a, a pure, you know, good tasting sauce. Don't think I need the knife for this one, but we'll pop that little white seal on the top. Now that really smells good. That's, mmm. I can't place the the smell that I'm getting and, and what it reminds me of. I mean, I love that it has ginger in it. I'm a huge fan of ginger. God, it has such a sweet yet spicy smell to it. Um, you'll hear. Of course, this is more like a, um, a paste almost than a sauce. It's very thick and chunky. You can see pieces of garlic in it, pieces of uh, uh, scotch bonnet pepper. God, that smell is so good. All right. Mm. Very good flavor. Um, I honestly don't know how to describe it, the ginger. That's the, the unique smell that I'm, I'm encountering. And now I can really taste the ginger come through in it. If you don't know ginger root, uh, it's got, um, it's a very spicy root, um, but it has this great flavor. It adds to me um, almost a sweetness to whatever you add it to. I use it in um, some of my juices. The heat on this is definitely up there. Uh, it took a minute for the heat to build um, but I feel the sweat coming. It's a good all-around mouth burn. Great flavor. I mean, just a wonderful tasting sauce. You really, uh, I really appreciate an all-natural sauce that doesn't have a bunch of preservatives and, and fluffers in it. Um, with this, you really taste the scotch bonnets. You get the uh, onion, definitely hints of garlic, and that um, the, <clears throat> the ginger... It's such a very unique flavor. I love ginger. Ab absolutely wonderful sauce, Eli. Um, again, I'll have the link down in the description for this. Uh, definitely check them out. If you're over in the UK, look them up. If you're over here in America and you're looking for a very good Scotch Bonnet sauce, go with this one. I mean, I've got some stuff in the fridge that uh, I've tried some Scotch Bonnets from around here and, and it's good, but this is truly a unique taste. I uh, highly recommend it. While I'm sitting here, why not go ahead and add some? I've just got some little cheese sticks, nothing much. I'm about to go for a bike ride, so.
Mm. Goes good with a cheese stick. Um, again, this is something that you can add into any of your dishes. Um, if you want to add a little flavor and a little heat to it. At the same time, um, uh, it, it could just be used straight on top of whatever it is you want to eat as a um, as a dipping sauce. Excellent. Thank you so much for sending me, sending me this, Eli. Um, I look forward to eating the rest of this over the next week or two. Uh, it's definitely up there on one of my favorite sauces I've tried so far. Um, thank you for sending it. Uh, as always, you can follow me on my Facebook page at Burnt Brian's Munchies. I'm uh, going to be developing on my website a little bit. Um, at uh, www.burntbryan.com but I'm going to go uh, finish this real quick and go for a bike ride before class so as always stay toasty my friends